Hello, and welcome to the Gamer's Closet. I'm your host, Douglas Weed, and today we're going to be talking about Labyrinth. Labyrinth is a game that was manufactured by Ravensburger Games in 1986. It seats anywhere from two to four players, runs for about 20 minutes of game time, and is rated for ages eight and up. But let's dig into it a little further, shall we? Labyrinth was released in 1986 and was the winner of the 1988 Eretz Spiel Best Family Game Award. In this game, you enter an enchanted labyrinth. Your task is to reach all of the mysterious objects, treasures, and creatures assigned to you. To fulfill your task, you must use your magical powers to skillfully manipulate the walls of the maze. The first player to accomplish this and return to the starting point wins the game. This game has been released in multiple countries and languages. It's been released in the United States as well as Canada, including Japanese, Greek, French, German, Spanish, and Finnish. The game has also been released in multiple themes, including SpongeBob, as well as Pokemon, Star Wars, Super Mario, and Hello Kitty. And in 2019, a 3D version of Labyrinth was also released. This game does come with multiple pieces. It comes with one player board, one set of instructions, 34 maze tiles, 24 treasure cards, and four player pieces. To set up this game, shuffle the maze cards and place them face up on the board at random, thereby creating a chance pattern of maze corridors. One maze card will be left over. Shuffle the 24 treasure cards and deal them out equally among the players face down. Choose a playing piece and place it on the board on the corner position of the same color. Depending on what edition of this game you have, your playing pieces could look like small circular barrels or could have an actual player party feel to them. Turns are taken in a clockwise direction and the players collectively decide who will begin. If you are the first player, look at your first treasure card and return it face down to your pile of cards. This is your first goal in the labyrinth. You may not look at your other cards until you've reached this goal. To reach your goal, you must shift the walls of the maze. This is done by pushing the extra maze card into the labyrinth at some point so that you can move as far as you wish along the open passageways. When you have to move the maze from the edge of the board, push the extra maze card onto the labyrinth. The places where the maze card can be added are indicated on the edge of the board by an arrow. The maze card that is pushed out will become the next player's means of shifting the maze. Until the next player's turn, the new extra maze card is left where it is so that way all players know how the maze has been shifted on this turn. Please note you must move the maze before each turn, even if you don't need to in order to reach your goal. This way you can wall in another player. You may not immediately reverse the last player's move by returning an extra card to the position that was just pushed out of it. If the shifting maze pushes out a player's piece, the piece is transferred to the newly inserted maze card on the other side. This applies whether the piece belongs to the person making the move or another player. Transferring this piece does not count as a move. After shifting the maze, move your playing piece as far as you choose along the open corridor. You can also choose not to move at all. Often you will be able to reach your goal in one move. If not, try to get to the best possible position of your next turn. Please note, more than one playing piece can occupy a single square. Once you have reached your first goal, turn over the top treasure card and leave it face up beside your pile of cards. The next card in the pile will then be your next goal and then turn passes to the next player. Once you have reached all your goals, you must return to the corner position from which you entered the labyrinth. The winner is the first player to turn up all their treasure cards and return to their starting position. There is a variation for younger children. Younger children, even when playing with an older group, can be allowed to look at their treasure cards before the game begins and try to reach them in any order they can. On every turn, the player tries to reach the most accessible treasures. Players can also decide not to return to the corner, but to end the game when one player has reached all of their assigned goals. Well, this has been an overview of Labyrinth. Labyrinth is an interesting game manufactured by Ravensburger in 86. The game is very straightforward, very easy to pick up, very easy to play. You're just walking through a maze trying to find the treasures or monsters or items that are in the maze that you've drawn. 
Now, it has a nice strategic element to it because you have to systematically change the maze, which can either help you on moving your path or become a large hindrance to your opponents because you could start boxing them in, move their goals around, cut their paths off. So it has a nice strategic element to it. It's a very easy game to pick up, very easy to play, very kid-friendly. Uh, this game doesn't have a lot of components to it, doesn't have a lot of rules to it, so it's very easy for kids to pick up. Um, it allows them to uh, see how colors work, how uh, paths work, systematic changes and strategic elements. So I think it's a very basic strategy game that can get complex. For a family game night or game night with friends, this is a great option for you. Labyrinth is always a quick easy game and it's always a fun game to play with friends. Uh, you can have some really interesting times of um, making your friends lives difficult playing this game. Now Labyrinth is a very easy game to find. It goes online anywhere from about 10 to 30 bucks. It's not very difficult to find. It's still in print today so you still can find copies relatively easy on the uh, Amazon or something like that or secondhand markets. If you haven't played Labyrinth before I would recommend taking a look at it. Now like I said depending on what edition you have you either get the four round barrel shaped pieces or you get the the wizard and group party pieces that have a nice fantasy look to them. The game plays the same either way. Uh, the fantasy pieces it just allows you to paint them if you want. Uh, I have seen elements of that online so if you really want to basically kick your game up to that extra level, that's something you can do as well. If you haven't played Labyrinth before, I would recommend taking a look at it. Like I said, it's very easy to pick up, very easy to play, very easy to learn, and is a great time by all. So if you haven't played Labyrinth before, I would recommend playing this game. Well, that's it from us here at the Gamer's Closet. We'd like to thank you for checking out our video on Labyrinth from Ravensburger Games. If there's a game in the future you'd like us to review or go over, please put in the comments below. Please hit subscribe so that way you can be the first to check out our future content. And as always, please have a great gaming day.